For today's wild encounter, I've chosen one of my all-time favorite little fish, and it is the mandarin fish. It is one of the most colorful, gorgeous, weird-looking little creatures on the planet. It's probably only about this big, and they hover around like a little helicopter using their ventral fins, and they come out at sunset. And the reason they come out at sunset is to have sex every day. So here's this beautiful little fish in iridescent colors. It's like a little hummingbird. It just hovers, comes out of its little protective coral garden, looks out, chasing these females around. The males are a little bit bigger and they have this beautiful dorsal fin that they can erect. You'll see males fighting each other and they'll have a full on go at each other. And all these small females that are just kind of being pretty, hanging around, and then when it comes to that moment, and if you're lucky enough, and you can be right there watching it, you'll see this male and female come together, and they do this magic little dance. They swirl up into the water column, and within a split second, they release those gametes and disappear back into the coral reef. And then he goes looking for the next one, and this goes on and on for about half an hour, hour, until it's dark, and that's it, every day. Such a beautiful little event. A wonderful memory of Mandarin fish is when I was working at Sam's Tours in Palau. And we were redoing the whole parking lot and we were ripping everything up and the ocean comes right up to the restaurant and the bar. And we decided that we're gonna move all those rocks and rubbish. Why don't we just create a little pile of rocks right at the edge of the water there and see what comes. Maybe we'll get something. We dumped all these concrete rocks right in there and there was just tons and tons of rocks all along the wall of the bar, right at Sam's Tours at the bar. And for months they were there and every time I'd go down there, I'd look into the water and I'd go like, it looks horrible. It's these concrete blocks, we've got to take them back out again. But then we kind of forgot about it. And after a while, we decided to jump in and have a look and see what's in there. And sure enough, a few months later, we started getting these mandarin fish. And I'm not just talking one or two, there were dozens. In fact, it became such a popular thing that we were able to advertise and promote. Finish off your last bit of air when you come back from the dive day out on the reef and jump in and you're literally right at the bar. You could almost have a, a drink in your hand, stick your head in at sunset, watch these mandarin fish come out, do their little mating dance right there at the dock at Sam's Tours. And it ended up being one of the greatest things to do.